You're going to take the SAT on my face test. Let's go. I spelled sit wrong. Funny. Okay. I meant SIT. You know, Gabe, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in. Ladies and gentlemen, just added uh -oh. this Friday, Huntington Beach, Huntington Beach, Huntington Beach. All right. This Friday, the 16th, Huntington Beach at the rec room. And then we also got San Diego the following week, July 22nd through the 24th, TrevorWallsComedy.com. And then Burbank Flappers. Boom. Uh, it's a comedy club. It's indoors. It's Burbank, California. If you live in Los Angeles, just drive to Burbank, you dumb bitch that I love. It's only 22 minutes from anywhere. I don't know. And then after that, August, we're coming in hot. We got Liberty Township, a.k.a. Cincinnati, August 5th through the 7th. And then we're going to Oklahoma City. Okay. Uh, that is August 12th through the 14th, maybe the 15th. I got to check my schedule. And then we're finishing out August strong. Strong with Spokane, Washington. Tickets are fucking moving quick on all those. Spokane almost sold out. And San Diego almost sold out. August 19th through the 21st, Spokane. And then a massive fall tour is coming and a theater tour in 2020. To Let's suck me off, fucking Mr. Go. Blaustein. Trouble Mr. Blaustein, uh, we'll be on tour July 21st at Liberty Township, aka Cincinnati, on July 21st, July 22nd, Columbus, Ohio, you a hoe, August 18th, Tampa, Florida, and August 19th, Orlando, Florida. Um, all tickets on BlauComedy.com, B-L-A-U Comedy.com. Come see your boy yell about feet. Um, I love you guys, and now the episode and we're in ladies and gentlemen i have a big question for everybody and what I was, I was thinking about this this morning and i couldn't just help but notice that the world just kind of smells like badussy right now i woke up this morning i smell my own asshole I said, I said what is this smell i said to the so guy just badussy. well if it's just butt then it's just but badussy booty dick and pussy how did the engineer not be like hey mr moneybag do you think we could maybe rhyme something else? Badussy, bags, stussy, brand, bags and stussy, but, but, uh, pussy. Badussy. I've walked in many a frat house. Actually, frat houses smell, the whole thing smells like badussy and it remnants like of bada. white claw. It just smells like bada. Bada. Totally. Ain't nobody Booty fucking and there. Booty dick. Ain't nobody fucking there. Well. Hold on. Um. I, doesn't every time you have sex it smells like badussy, booty, dick, and pussy? No. If it's a session, but or it's mean? or the AC broke, or you just finished roller skating, maybe. Do you think your dog knows what's going on? Like yes. the second you open the door and you got the little waft and the cat walks in, he's like, I know what the hell is going on in here. Dude, the second. Y'all took I, my food and put it in the microwave in here, didn't you? <laughs> the second I open the door, Greta runs in the room, goes up her little stairs, so, jumps on the bed and starts <laughs> smelling like you've never seen anyone smell. Yeah, my cat walks in like like a dad who knows he's high, like you're hiding something. He's like, "What's really going on in here?" Huh? Oh, Greta knows. Well, well, yeah, she chews on your used condoms. She Are hasn't you done using that. In Am I using condoms? <laughs> no. Oh. Do you know why? Oh no! <laughs> this early on to the episode. Shit. Let's Let her wait. rip. Let's let wait. No. Let's wait. Let it rip. Let's wait. Shut up. Let it rip. Shut it down. Let's Why wait. are you not using condoms, Mr. Blaustein? Do we want to do it? Do we want to do this kind of like a Quentin Tarantino film where we allude to the fact no, and then we'll jump forget, to talk about we'll Triscuits? Talk about, well, well, yeah. And then we'll talk about Quizno subs for nine hours <laughs> and be like, well, the real remember when? Hey, Mr. Blaustein, why are you not using... <laughs> Why are you not using condoms? Let's just start off right now. Just get down to the nitty fucking gritty. I apologize to everyone who's listening and everyone who's asked me this question because I'm going to tell you some horrible fucking news and then give you a big pause and then give you good news in my life, okay? Uh -oh. <sighs> Drum roll. The foursome's not happening. Why? Fuck! Fuck! Yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. There's a big tent pole this goddamn uh, season. The season, season scheduling, scheduling, and it's not happening. Carpool? It's COVID? Not par carpool lane. Is it? Is it not? What's COVID happening safe? there? 
can you get <laughs> carpool <it>? lane? <laughs> but, but then I'd the Teslas driving. are just in the carpool lane, be like, hey, fuck all you guys. I'd be driving in the carpool lane. I do it too. There's Pull not me a over. <laughs> Pull and me I over. see a sign that goes, hey, you'll get a minimum ticket of $246. Good! Swipe the car, you goddamn bitch! I need to be at the show four minutes earlier now. Yeah. You really get you surely save like 22 seconds. Hey! It's a pandemic. <laughs> Let me drive in the fucking carpool lane. Yeah, but also I have tinted windows, so you can't. You don't know if there's a kid back there. Yeah. What if the cops like, "Where's the kid?" You're like, "Oh, it's in the trunk." And like, ah, wait, hold on, hold on. They go, "No, they go, where's the kid?" Hold I go on. in. That's a very valid question. Can kidnappers drive in the carpool lane? Dark subject. One hundred percent, they can. <laughs> you can drive. Clip it. Put it on TikTok. <laughs> Why isn't the foursome happening? All right, I told you guys the bad news, and I'm telling you the good news. You guys are still going to hate this, but it doesn't matter. Maybe you guys will like it. I'll just tell you. Here we go. Um, I officially... I have a girlfriend. So what's the good news? <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Blaustein. Guys, wow. I'd like to thank the Academy... And I'd like to thank uh, my parents for, or my parents, and my dad's Blue Chew. Promo code sucks. Getting me hard. What, Blue Chew? You know what's interesting is the people huh. that have been listening for the past, you know, maybe year and a half to two, especially as pandemic listeners, is like, we've all been with you through this journey. Yeah. Every time you've had the trial and the errors to the, to the got gex girl, <clears throat> to the... To equestrian the, to the equestrian to the witch and uh, to to the wet 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 wow. hey wet wet stop commenting on my fucking instagram it's over it's good for engagement wet it wet is. keep it going okay i i well i mean it's like i feel like we all just uh watched you graduate a little bit it does feel that way it does feel that way i feel um first of all i feel great you guys have been listening, as Trev said, through this pandemic. I've been a bit wild. And when I say a bit wild, off the rails. Off the rails. There were no rails. The I, rails were in a different continent. They didn't build the rails. <laughs> rails weren't out yet. They were not here. I was just on a fucking stagecoach. Yeah. No rails. Off the rails. No rails. Eating I wings was, on butt plug night. Eating, eating wings, wings on butt, butt plug night. night. If you don't know what we're talking about, listen to that fucking episode. I mean, just it's, let's do some recaps. I mean, the ESPN, you know how they have the top 10? Uh huh. I watch sports. Just the top. I wish we could just do the top 10. Uh, foot jobs in Phoenix. Yeah, foot jobs in Phoenix. Guys, I ate semen off a woman's foot. Yeah. Weird. Also, I'm into it now. Uh, you got to try some stuff, guys. That's the point of this show. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> is to give you knowledge and maybe you want to try some stuff. God, what were some other good ones? I mean, the uh, the the Wisconsin, when the lady oh, left my work, Lordis. where her husband was her boss, who was like, yeah, honey, go ahead, go bang Michael. And then she came to the hotel at like 3 p.m. And then I knocked on your door to get a hard drive, but you were fucking driving something else with your hard drive. Cock, penis, having sex at 3 p.m. I was fucking... After she had a sweaty shift. Oh, let me tell you something. You know what that room smelled like? But yeah. Dussie! <laughs> but Dussie. But Dussie, but Dussie, but For sure. She stunk like a New Jersey transit train. It was fucking horrendous. She goes, do I... Could Should I shower? I go, no, to be nice. Should she have showered? She smelled like Bigfoot's cock. It was terrible. <laughs> Gone through a car wash on your way here, Jesus! Holy shit! It was my fault. Though. I should have been. I, I should have said, "Yeah, maybe she could shower." It doesn't matter. So it, the point is, but you're horny. It doesn't matter. It, oh my god! I mean, wow. Just so it's been it's been a god darn journey, an Iliad yeah. and an Odyssey, if you will. Uh huh. Um and um. The Iliad and the Thodicy. Title. Title. Uh, Did you say title to it, Gabe? Yeah. Gabe, yeah I love it. Gabe's in on the title. I love it. Um, yeah, man. So, uh, wow. So I'm, I'm, I'm officially off the market. Um, wow. and, um, this podcast just went to shit. Yeah. So I'd like to bring up Jesus Christ. Hey, <laughs> so, yeah. this next ad is brought to you by Christian Mingle. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. I don't know. The I, I don't know either. I'm Jewish. Um, I don't know. Kike, clip it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so much to say here, man. <clears throat> um, but I, I will say, I want to, I want to, you know, tell all the listeners and the watchers yeah. that I'm happy. And, and that's something a happy person says. 
Yeah. No, but I'm, I'm just happy. I'm good. I'm just right, right. actually well, polishing well, well, a revolver. Well, yeah, I'll let you finish without being rude. No, I just, you know, I, we, we all know that I have, uh, you know, for the first maybe like year, I didn't like want, I wasn't really looking for anything. I was just being wild. And then, you know, we, I'm talking about it a lot for like the last like four or five months, how like I'm, I'm open to it. Just can't find the right one. Yeah. Sort of like the, the we found love in a hopeless place. Yeah. Oh my God. Looking mm. for love in all the wrong places. Yeah. Yeah. I got, all my exes are in Texas. I. Texas. There's a lot of whores in Texas. <laughs> exes. And whores. <laughs> yeah. And whores. Why do you think they're exes? They're they whores. They cheated. Yeah. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, our first ad of the podcast is none other than our good friends over at Liquid IV. I wake up every morning, I drink yes. water, but what else do I do? I enhance my water. What am I, Mario, getting a gold star? Yes. So, kind of. So what I do every morning is I crack open the watermelon liquid IV and I mix it in my cup of water. And now I'm adding to that cup of water and essentially making it two to three times more hydration that you get from one bottle. You know what's great about these? I'll tell you. They come in like little packets, right? So if you're traveling, you're at the gym, uh, you're like super hungover, you don't feel like, cause you can put them next to your bed. They're yeah. so they're so portable. Mm -hmm. Put them next to your bed, you throw them in a bottle of water, you feel better almost instantly. Um, great to travel with. Buddy. Small. Huh? Put it in your pocket. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, what makes liquid IV so effective? I'll tell you, cellular transport technology, scientific term. This is a science podcast, okay? The optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, glucose. and potassium delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream, okay? It's a perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. Guys, how do we get it? We will tell you, okay? Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. Costco. Uh-oh. Or you can get 25% off. Huh? 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code SOCKS, SOCKS at checkout. How much is that? That is 25% off anything you order. Anything. When you get better hydration today, use promo code SOCKS at liquidiv.com. Promo code SOCKS. 25% off. Go do it. Get hydrated. Guys, feel better. Go do it. God damn. So... Do you, but, do, do you think when this lovely lady, um, what's her full name and what does she do? Oh, I'll get you the <laughs> address, doctor. social media. Uh, so do you think when she came into your life, were you looking for love or was it just kind of like it popped up? What did you guys, you guys met on a dating app? We met on a dating app, yeah. Um, okay. I, definitely, I definitely was looking. I mean, I've said it a bunch on air and, and to you and to Gabe off air, like. On air, what a on, dumb thing to say. We're on air. Shut yeah. up. What air? Airwaves. All right. <laughs> it just sounds so funny. We're on air. <laughs> Anyways. Microwaves. What's going on there? Microwaves. <laughs> All right, guys. We solve issues here, okay? Anyways, let me bring you into the life of Jesus Christ. Act one. Read the Bible. So I, uh, yeah, man. So I definitely was looking. Um, and I have a very specific um, set of things that I need from somebody. And, uh, you know, I'm willing to move a little bit left, a little bit right on those, but I do have, uh, uh, you know, I'm pretty specific on what I like. And this lovely lady, she checks all the boxes, man. Wow. <clears throat> she checks all the boxes. She's very motivated. She's driven. She has a great job. She's super smart emotionally and um, intellectually. She reads, which I find super hot. <laughs> um, I know. Odd. It's, it's, I'm no, it's not that. It's just the fact that like, she reads. She can write. <laughs> but you know what's really weird and how I'm just such a weird, like, I have just a really weird uh, kind of like dichotomy of a human being. She is, knows her ABCs. She does. She does know. But like, it's like. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I read guy, but I'm also like foot jobs and Phoenix guy. Yeah. So it's just so weird. And that's why I think it's so hard for me to find mm -hmm. somebody because it's like, I need foot jobs and Phoenix, but I also need you to have read the great Gatsby and want to talk everybody about Everybody has that. It like, we've talked about this so many times. Right. Like there's CEOs and there's bosses around the world who make, you know, seven figure incomes. And on Tuesday nights, they go and they get their ass beaten with a cactus by a BDSM lovely lady. And then, and then the next morning, they're there and be like, I need the Excel spreadsheets. Where's the morning coffee and the blueberry muffin? Yeah. It's the yin and the yang. Everybody's got their, like, this is my head on straight. This is who I am in the day. But at night, sure. It's Do a little shh, shh. Yeah. Finger in the ass. Finger in the booty hole. Budussy. So Listen. you know what's funny is when what? Amber Rose... Like, like outed Kanye always like finger in the booty ass bitch. Do you remember that tweet? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's see if I can pull it Kanye, up. he he been revolutionary. 
He been getting fingers in the ass. Like Ben had. And it's so funny because was was he even embarrassed? Because if I was him, I'd be like, yeah. But at, Next the, at the time, that's what I was saying. And, uh, you know, it, it, it sounds so much harsher than it is. Yeah. Like if you're like, if you walked into a Starbucks and you said, what's your name, please? And you go, I had a finger in my ass last night. They'd yeah. go, okay, you should probably leave. Yeah. And then the barista in the back just twirling around whipped cream was like, so did I. And you're like, let's go hang out. You. So it's, uh, it's just such a shock value thing. But Kanye, I mean, revolutionary man. He got a finger in the ass and ran for president. So you tell me if it's good or not. Well, is it in the ass or on the outside? There's, there, that's, that's, the, that's the difference. Well, we don't know. I can text him. Yeah. No, uh-huh. I can't. He doesn't have a phone. The guy just well, talks to saying, his fucking she's, brain. She's saying, oh, well, yeah, booty finger. This finger, finger can mean in and out or can mean her, around. What was her tweet again? The actual tweet says, uh, ah, at Kanye West, are you mad that I'm not around to play in your asshole anymore? She said, but it. then she said, "Finger in the booty ass bitch." I remember that. Hashtag one. fingers in the booty ass bitch. Yeah. Play in your asshole. She says in. It sounds weird. You have a play date in the asshole. Play date in there. That's what you said. No, she, she says play. Yeah, play but play asshole. play sounds like you're just like somebody playing kickball in Kanye's asshole. Title? No. That might be a title. Um, <laughs> but I just I'm I, I no. She's so, trying to frame it like it's a bad thing. If I was Kanye, I'd celebrate that shit. Yeah, I'd put a museum in my ass. Hold on. Soundbite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just make the whole episode for Gabe. We just say the title. We say the soundbite. Description. Anyways, so clip it. You. Yeah. So, um. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. She just checks all the boxes. Um. And I do think for me, it's it's a little challenging to, to check all the boxes. Um. And uh. And yeah, it's been moving honestly pretty fast. Yeah. And I'm not, like, I'm not scared. Which is like. Oh whoa. Yeah, I'm not. Whoa. I'm not, dude. I'm not scared. <laughs> no, I, I, I see what you're saying. And they're moving fast. You feel good about it. I feel good. Yeah. Because, you know, I think a lot of dudes and just a lot of people in general, like if things are moving fast, they go, they get all freaked out. We get scared. the speed wobbles. It's like you've yeah. been like bombing a hill, like on a longboard or something, and you're moving quick. Yeah. There's a, there's a moment of consciousness where you go, I got this. And then there's a moment where you're like, this is not going to end well. This yeah. is the, the, we're getting the speed wobbles and I'm going to eat shit. Yeah. I got, and then you ride it out and you go, we're good. I got this on lock. Yeah. I got no, uh, I got no knee pads. I got no ocean spray. I got nothing. Okay. And then, uh, and then, yeah, but I, but I, yeah, I do. So what, uh, let's dial it back a little bit. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's. How uh, long ago was your first message with each other? Two months ago. Okay. And who opened with what? Um, I think I just opened with a very generic like hey you how's it going type of thing that will get them i think i just said some i literally said hey you um yeah i literally think it was just hey you honestly i think it was that was the first like very generic yeah let's break the ice that way yeah, because look, I mean, if you if you look at some of these photos, you can the first message it can be literally whatever, and you're like, they look cool, unless they're like, got any gags, or they're like, tell me a joke. You're like, no, no, no. Block, 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 block. Wow, blockchain I'm gonna, I'm gonna, technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but, Cinder block. I'm really gonna miss your Instagram stories of you screenshotting wild things people would say to you. Yeah. On Bumble. Mm-hmm. And and just block them immediately. Block. I'm so really let sorry. me ask you this. Yes, sir. You deleted all the dating apps already. I did. Yeah? There it is. Deleted. I mean, that's such a funny thing you'll see in people's bios. Be the reason I delete this app. Uh, ew. Okay. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, 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 ew. Be the reason I delete this app. Like, so what? when did you know mom was the one? Well, she deleted Bumble and I knew I was in. <laughs> that's sort of what it is, though. It's so weird, right? It's like. Well, that's like you're taking yourself off the market. <clears throat> yeah. That is, that is literally exactly what it is. Right. Just the, your storefront is is Well, that dissolved. was like when people on Facebook would be like, uh, Trevor's now uh, in a relationship. Oh and everyone would be like, oh, my God, so like, big. who's the girl? I need to see it. Well, the thing about that, the problem was I'm now in a relationship with, and you could link the fucking person's name. On Bumble? No, 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 no. On Facebook. Right, right. In a relationship with. Oh, well, they, now it's more like, or what now? I think they did this years and years ago. Where it's like, you can just do, is in a relationship. You don't have to oh, put the person. Oh, okay, yeah. I just remember when it was fucking linked, which was like. Trevor's in a relationship with Barack Obama. And he's like, what? <laughs> yeah, they would do, wouldn't people do that? But they, have, they would I have, think to, you have accept to accept it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the ultimate love. You're like, look over at your partner and you're like, 
Let me ask you this. Give it to me. This is when I knew I was in a relationship. Uh -oh. Two guys talking about relationships. Hold on, guys. Dave's in a relationship. I'm in a relationship. Oh, hold My on. cat's single. This is Greta's single. Um, hold up. Cat dog? Let's do it. Weird. Uh, is This is, not is, this is the first time on this show that everybody on the show is in a relationship. Whoa! That's what I'm saying, dude. This show is plummeting in numbers right now. Somebody break up. Gabe? Gabe. No, thank you. Well, how long? Who Gabe said no, thank you. That was a test. Hold Babe, on. if you're listening, I got Fuck. bad news. <laughs> well, I on. love you. Well, this, uh, this is what happens. We, it moves It moves like... Uh, don't say this. Because Is it going to sound like you're going to say like somebody's going to break up? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. No, this is how the show works. You guys all signed this contract. What happens is... Contract? Yeah, yeah. This, we all signed it. Uh, was that what I signed the other day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a 7-Eleven receipt. No. It was 14 pages. Let me tell you something. If you're getting a receipt from 7-Eleven, your life's in shambles. They don't even give a fuck. They, got, they look, the whole receipt just throw it away immediately. Yeah, they don't receipt ask anymore. Receipt for anything. They don't ask anymore. Hey, Anyways, Dunkin' so, Donuts, do you want um, Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Or were you still talking about everybody in this podcast? I was just saying that, like, whoever's been in the relationship longest now has a break up because now I'm the youngest in the relationship. So it now just it kind of revolves. Oh, I, think I think that's my scary. parents. All right. I think they should have <laughs> broke up a while ago. For them to still be together is crazy. They don't want to be together anymore, and I don't know why they're sticking together. The kids are out of the fucking house. They need to break up. I mean, my mom has had two divorces at this point. Really? Yeah. Wow. Just two. That's just... Sad? You're probably yeah. not. Well, yeah, you're probably not phased by the second one. First one hits hard. Second one, you're like, I've done this before. Yeah, that's what's so funny about like marriage and even relationships, right? Which is like, it's funny, but also the scary part. It's like, we're gonna be together forever. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, it's gonna no, be we're not. It's just being a pastor, and then you hear people doing their vows, and you're like, no. Fifty percent chance, y'all are done. And I think it might be more than that. I think it might be sixty at this point, which is yeah. crazy. People used to never get divorced, and now it's just like what y'all do. It's like seven years, and you're like, we're done, yeah. Which makes it less scary. Because I feel like people are like, oh, I don't want to do it because we're going to be together forever. Are you? No, you're not. Seven, eight years, you're done. So, well, come on. You know? Let's uh, get on a positive note here. All right. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> Let me ask, ask me, This sorry. is when I knew I was definitely in a relationship. Do Give you guys share location yet? Okay. That's hilarious. So. Yes. No, sounds... Hold on. So, I don't, that, I don't like that. I've never shared my location on anybody. Okay. She she shares her location with literally all her friends, so it's like ingrained into what she's been doing with her life for the last like five six years. So it's not yeah. weird for her. So she goes on like location. She's like, oh, my, I'm in because she travels a bunch. She's like, oh, I, my friends in blah, I'm in blah. She's she's like hits them up, be like, hey, guess what? Guess who's in town, right? So they they do that right, for right, like right. that uh, function. But I've never shared my location with anybody. But what do you what do you do when she goes share your location with me? Because if you say no, well, she's probably listening to this. For sure. For sure. Hello, madam. Lovely time at dinner. Miss, good day. Good morrow. <laughs> Lovely time at dinner we had when we all met. Because um, what do you, I mean, <laughs> she's listening to this part. You kind of have to. <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm saying, generically speaking, for men in relationship, if a lady, <clears throat> check me out, secret sock. Hey, my girlfriend wants a, uh, <laughs> this is not Trevor Wallace. <laughs> my girlfriend wants to. <laughs> Wants me to share the location, but I don't want to give it to her. Does that make it look like I'm being sketchy and cheating or being sketchy in general? What What are some reasons you could say no? That's a great question, whoever <coughs> wrote that in. Uh, this is what I would like to ask. Why I flip it. Why do you need my location? Do you not trust me? Why do you need my location? I'm not, I don't but uh, then climb, hold on. I don't climb mountains for a living. You don't need to know where I'm at all the time. If you need to know, you need to ask yourself why you need to know. You just flip it. And that's honestly how I feel. Okay. If you really don't, because all their answers are, yeah, but like, what if you're blah, 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 blah. Text me. I'll text right back. What if you blah, blah, blah. You know what we did do? That's a super girlfriend, boyfriend thing in, in 2021. We made a calendar for each other. So we're sharing a calendar. Get the, oh, actually with tour dates, I get that, it. Yeah, yeah, it's if a, it was not tour dates, I would be like, Cause then you're like Google fucking inviting like uh, we will do the coitus on the 17th at 3 p.m. Oh no 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 not that. It's, it's like, like you're in town, I'm out of town. Exactly. Google Calendar. Google Calendar. Yeah. Here's the thing. 
ain't nobody gonna update that shit. Um, I hear you, but she's very detail oriented, so she's going to. And yeah. then when she updates, I'm gonna get a fucking, uh, I'm gonna get a notification. I'm like, oh god damn it! Then I yeah. have to. You know, it's also something cute we did. We uh, carved we, locks and put them on a bridge. Yes. We have, yeah. People love doing that. Yeah. When you get a divorce, you know what people do to that? They go find the original lock and then they cut that lock. They cut the lock and they throw it off the... What are you going to do with that lock? I'm going to run it over with a fucking Tacoma. I don't think that's going to do that much. That cheating whore. I don't think it's going to do much. It's a Tacoma and it's a lock. They're, I feel better. There you go. You want to do something wild with that lock? I would throw it off the bridge. Yeah, but then I, I want to I wanna fuck it up. I want to burn it and make a sword out of it and stab the ex-boyfriend. Come on. All right. Well, uh, this next ad is brought to you by <laughs> Better. <laughs> so, what did you guys do? <clears throat> You're like, oh, you know, we did do that. It was actually really. Oh, really cute. We made, uh, you know, on the notes app, you can like, you know, share it with somebody. Oh, I did not know this. Yeah. So we shared a notes app, and we literally have like a, like a to do, like a together to do list. Wow. Not like go to Tahiti, but like things that I need to do that she can help me with and things that she needs to do that I what can What are some with. examples? Um, like I need to find, uh, like I, I actually think I have voice nodes. What? Uh, uh, I don't really know how to, it's essentially like, um, like scarring on your vocal cords. Oh, from yelling so much? <laughs> Who does that, buddy? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I like, so because my vo I continually keep losing my voice. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's like a sign of having uh, vocal nodes. So, she put on the list, like, find a uh, ear, nose, throat doctor. And she knows that I'll probably never fucking do that. So we put it on the list so she can, like, remind me to wow. do that type of thing. It's, That's smart. It's, dude, it's very beneficial because she'll add some things. I mean, go off. I think we're overlooking that this is crazy advanced compared to what would be on that list for the past women that were in this quarantine hookup situation. Yeah. And the other one would be, like, get the machete and the axe. And let's go fuck yeah. in a goddamn Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> like, I don't... Yeah, think. it would be like, I need a dozen cucumbers. Dot, 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 you know why. Yeah. Dot, 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 in my ass, you idiot. Period. Yeah, I mean, that's just like... Um, but I feel like you were always good at separating the two, being like, this is strictly a hookup, or this is like, this could be a thing. And, yeah. and your mindset was always different. And then with the girlfriend, wow, it sounds weird to say. It sounds the wild. The girlfriend, it seemed like right away you, you kind of knew you were like, this is somebody who makes me feel a little bit of butterflies. Yeah. And the, the other women uh, on the Bumble, they did not give me butterflies. They, they made French me, flies. They made me oh, come shit. on the know. butterflies. <laughs> like it wasn't, you know what I mean? Like it's, and there's a stark difference. And I'm sure all stark. of you. Stark. Yeah. Isn't that Tony a character? Stark. Yeah. Iron Man. Yep. Talk about getting fisted with that thing. Come on now. Eesh, Hi -ho. Wow. Uh, but is there, there's a stark difference when you, when you like actually sit down with someone that you like have a great connection with off top. It's a completely different feel. Not even the butterfly. You know, it's like there's a completely different like chemistry element to it versus if you're sitting down with someone right. that you're just going to have butt plug night with. It's On wings. They're all very nice. Yeah. But there's a, there's a, a your, wildly different connection. What was your guys' first date? We went to a really cute place in uh, in uh, Santa Monica. What, <clears throat> like, like just like a restaurant? Yeah, it was, it was a restaurant, okay. and we had like a we had I think we had like a drink, yeah. and we just we just had the crazy like flow of communication that was like really nice, and she was very honest and very transparent with everything, and there was no like so like where are you from? And there was none of that. It just felt there was an instant yeah. chemistry level that was just, and she was like funny and. You know, just all like honestly, dude. And I told you this when I met her. Like she, she went to a really good school. All of her friends, <clears throat> excuse me, all of her friends went to like really great schools. So mm -hmm. like, I was instantly uh, like nervous. Like I was like, right, oh, I'm right. not. Well, I, you know, yeah. her dad, then she, like where she works, and yeah. then she's like, what do you do for a job? And you're like, <laughs> I know. Come. <laughs> She's like, what? Cone? You you put out cones and a cone? Come, I talk about cone. Yeah, but I mean, it's it, it's um in a town like Los Angeles, it's like everybody has a podcast. Of know? course, of course. Every, the guy at Petco has a podcast. I would listen to it. Greta, that's his favorite podcast. Yeah. Um, but but you know, I was I was legit nervous because I because she was Did she's like incredibly well read. She just like throwing out all these crazy big words. I'm like looking at my goddamn phone on on mm -hmm. synonyms dot com even figure yeah. the fuck she's talking she's like, about. Like indubitably, you're like, what the hell restaurant is that? They have it on the menu, bitch. Like, <laughs> goddamn. 
Hey, all you Stiff Socks listeners out there. God, I sound like a baseball announcer. And uh, coming up to play, it's Lucy Nicotine. Look, Lucy Nicotine is a cleaner alternative. You just switch from, you know, just chain smoking new ports at a bus stop. You know, you still want to be smelling like cigarettes? No, switch it on up to Lucy Nicotine, which was founded by Caltech scientists, scientists, Ooh. and former smokers looking for a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. Finally, tobacco alternatives that don't suck. And Lucy has creative nicotine gum with four milligrams of nicotine that comes in three flavors. What three flavors? I will tell you. Wintergreen, cinnamon, and pomegranate. Also, Lucy has a lozenge. Holy Toledo, cherry ice flavor. Let's go. I've said this a million times, but I gave this to my neighbor. They love it because regular nicotine gum like disintegrates in the mouth. My neighbor has said that it does not disintegrate in the mouth, and the flavor is delicious, and he has not smoked since he has done this. Anyways, it's 2021. Get rid of your cigarettes. Unplug your vape. Fuck your own girlfriend. <laughs> Throw your dip and get some Lucy nicotine gum or lozenges. This is the real deal. A subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. So it's simple and you don't even have to leave the house because Lucy has delivery down. Just like my pants should be right now. Sip Socks listeners, go to Lucy.co. That's .co. Use promo code SOCKS to get 20% off your first order, including gum or lozenges. That's Lucy.co. No M. Lucy.co. Use promo code SOCKS at the checkout. Also, I have to give this disclaimer. Warning, this product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Lucy.co. And be sure to use that promo code SOCKS. God damn. But did you try to make your job sound... Or were you just like, oh, I do stand-up in a podcast? Or were you like... I am uh, on the airwaves from Wednesdays <laughs> and, you know, I, I do uh, an art form communication of <laughs> joke telling about semen and feet. What did you say? I come on feet and talk about it on stage. That's what I do. That's what I do. Too, yeah. Let me see your feet. Um, I no, I li I think I just kind of just gave it. I kind of just gave it like a, you know. Give me the pitch. I'm her. Ask me the question. So I'm very respect. You know, I'm like very respected because I'm right. very successful. Right. Right. Uh, you can you stop looking at my feet, sir? I, I'm sorry. First of all, what do her feet look like? Great. Oh, one word answer, huh? Great. Can't get into it. A touchy <laughs> subject. I got it. We'll get there, guys. Don't worry. Patreon. Maybe not. As she earns our respect, we'll earn hers. If she doesn't want her feet talked about episode one, I get it. All right? My girlfriend has, you know, she's got feet. Do I need to talk about them? No. she got an ass. I can talk about that ass all day. God damn it. Anyways, <laughs> it's I'm so rocked up. <laughs> it's so funny that like things get like the communication gets a like a little dicey when you're talking about someone's girlfriend. Because as, right. as, as soon as you go, hey, yeah, my girlfriend got ass. Do you see how quiet I was? I can't talk about it. Why don't you look at her ass? You don't think she has a nice ass? Betterhelp.com <laughs> backslash socks. No, I know that is weird. But I, I literally was just like, oh, she's like, what do you? Because well, sure you. On the on the dating app profile, it says like what I do, and I'm what pretty. What on there? I think it's just a stand-up comic, and yeah. it has like my Instagram. So I'm pretty. I mean, not I'm pretty sure she. She definitely did peruse yeah, it you, a if little. You're, if you swipe right with somebody, you start messaging, and you don't check out their Instagram, you need just, physical help. Yeah, because dude, okay, in in today's society, everybody's in the goddamn FBI. So if you're yeah. gonna match with someone on the dating apps, and you're gonna say, hey, let's hang out, that's in you screen them. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. You gotta give him a background check. Yeah. You gotta call your cousin. Yeah. Somebody's, everyone's. Mm -hmm. Feet. We all wanna hear it. This is what I was gonna say about feet. You know what's hilarious is obviously she found out I have a foot fetish. Why? I don't know. I talk about it all the fucking time. And right. so. Yeah, how she, quick did you bring that up? <clears throat> before the appetizers. Yeah. Before. She's like, oh, yeah, we'll get the little pigs in the blanket. And you go, speaking of little piggies, goddamn. God. Bust off those vans. What the fuck? She did that vans on. <laughs> I was there. No. <laughs> She had vans on? <laughs> she did. Damn, those are the least uh, breathable shoes. So them boys were sweating up in there. Little There's pigs in a blanket. God damn. There's something about vans, though, when girls wear little like those I think vans, vans are. I, dude, I'll, I will probably be the guy who's like 45 wearing vans. You won't be the only one. Yeah. There are so many dudes who just... They, they just... They go... Oh, we're all of us wearing them. They wow. go with everything. They're super comfortable. And, and it's not like if you spill on them, you're like, fuck. But you're like, what am I going to do? 40 bucks. Yeah. Who okay. cares? So feet. Feet. One of the funniest things she's fucking said to me when she found that I when she found out that I had a foot fetish was probably like two three weeks in. She was so goddamn surprised. She was like, "Hold on, what?" 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I don't. You freaks exist? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. <laughs> they burned you on the stake. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild what they did to witches. Not good. Damn. Also, how, like, if, if back in the day, if a girl cheated on you, you, the most fucked up revenge in the world is when you find out she cheated, you go to the local, you know, Friday, because everybody in my head ate at one place outside That's by, it. The, by the pond, and you just go, hey, how you doing? Hey, guys, Esmeralda's a witch, and then you run away, and then you're just, well... And that's it. That's it. The Salem witch trials? Let me tell you something. No trials. No trials. That, with it, no such thing as a hoax. They're like, either you are or you aren't. That's it. And they, what, what would they say? They were like, if you float or if, some if, shit? If you float, you're a witch. If you die, you weren't. Oh, Terrible ultimatum. Sick. I think. I don't know. I don't, I don't it, know. But it was something like that where it's just like, and, well, you know what's lose, also funny? lose. It's like, if you were a witch back in the day, they killed you. And then fast forward to like 2000. Eight or whatever, the biggest show on Disney was like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Piss. Like, you're making residuals off the fact that they been burned. Also, Sabrina the now in I don't, Melissa, you can't whatever be. the fucking name is. You can't be. Oh, she's girlfriend. Man, I don't like women. <laughs> Well, I don't know if that's a be- uh, better angle to take here. <laughs> kidding. Oh, kidding, right? Um, feet! feet. <laughs> Incognito time to show my feet. Oh, you know, new merch. She literally goes because she is, uh, you know, her. she's very smart. So she literally talks like a, this sounds so, like a super person, how that would say, because I'm stupid. She goes, she just talks like a smart person. So mm-hmm. she literally goes, hold on. You honestly have a foot fetish? I was like, yeah. The first thing she says to me is, is she goes, looks down at her feet. She looks at me. She goes, I don't know if I have the dexterity. What the hell? I think the flexibility. Is that the reboot of Dexter's Lab? Dexterity? She goes, I don't know if I have the dexterity in my toes to give you a foot job. What does dexterity mean? Flexibility? Like, I think like, like, uh, um. Ability to perform tasks with your. Like, ho- like hold, like hold my, hold my cock. So when you get fingered, you're getting dexterized. I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> like it's essentially like, oh look, I can pick this up. I have the dexterity. My hands are the dexterity. You have to pick the dexterity to put a finger on somebody's ass. Correct. So she goes, I don't know if I have the dexterity to do that. But, huh? But it's not. Who always, says that? It's not always about foot jobs. I know. But and I will. That's where you say, oh, you just put a foot in the door to a whole new world. It's a whole new world. So, um, yeah. So she's so she's like just that type of person. Just like we like right. we like take a goddamn hike, and she's talking about like neurons, and I'm like, what do we? What's that? Yeah. Gre- Greta's like falling down the hill as we're talking about neurons. I'm like, I don't yeah. even know half the time what the hell this woman's talking about. Question. I have answers. Do you have the dexterity to answer this? Give it to me. Is she the lovely lady? Uh huh. Who uh, done the sex with the Rams football player? Yes! Oh, no. Oh, big uh, big or no. Big or no. (laughs) Hut, hut, bye. (laughs) Just kidding. No, I love her. Shift said, fuck you. Uh, Um, Wow. So you. Uh Uh-huh. Rams football player. And I have something else uh, funny to bring up. Yeah. Slash. Fuck. We were in the car yesterday. Mm-hmm. Found out he's not the only football player. <laughs> he's not the only football player. Hey, hey, he's not the only football player. God damn. Is she running that Heisman? You feel? <laughs> Heisman for the Hyman? Is Hyman a sexual thing? Yep. Yes. Title. 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 Wow. What is it with girls in Los Angeles? They just, they got it. It's not even like my girlfriend went on a date with like the backup Kings goalie. And I was like, did you guys fuck? She's like, no. And I was like, I still hate this guy. I hate this guy. I, I, look, Hockey. Me, shut it down. Let me tell you something. Do you know, you know the game of football? Yeah. Shut it down. <laughs> no one's playing anymore. She's like, where my, are we watching the Super Bowl Sunday with our eyes closed? Next question. I don't have a TV anymore. I'll break the TV on my fucking knee. Hot, hot, hike the TV out the goddamn window. No football. Yeah. Wow, not hey, the only football player. My son is going to make. I would like to play football. I'll kick him down the stairs. So she just has a fetish for much bigger dudes than you. Yeah! I mean, dude, she said... Who's the other player? Warren Sapp? I, 
Oh, I would just, I would kill myself. <laughs> um, and I, Gabe, uh, how did this get brought up? How did it she get? She saw fucking, somebody get like <clears throat> tackled on the street, and she's like, "Speaking of getting," <laughs> <laughs> or you guys are waiting. At a train track, she goes. Speaking of running train, you're like, I don't like where this is going. Hold on. Speaking of getting dexterized, I'll kill you. <laughs> so wait, yeah. Let let me know. Same team? No, different team. Oh boy. Different team, but um. What? what? The, but but uh, this one won a Super Bowl. Oh no. You know, oh yeah. You know how much more athletic you have to be to win a Super Bowl? Correct. Correct, <laughs> correct, correct, correct. Also, a recent Super Bowl? can you imagine getting Wait. fingered with a Super Bowl ring? Is it Tom Brady? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Clickbait YouTube. Michael's new girlfriend gets fucked by Tom Brady. No, we can't say that. Maybe we can. Nelk did it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just say the coitus with uh, Tom Brady. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw this, but this morning, Nelk, they did a video. <laughs> oh, yeah. They did a video where Addison Ray like meets Donald Trump at a UFC event, and they titled it. Addison Ray fucks Donald Trump. <laughs> I was like, I don't think, or has sex with Donald Trump. I was like, I don't think you can do that. I don't think that's like. Hold on. I don't think you can just slander famous people like that. Well, you can. You totally can. <laughs> Here's the thing. And that well, the funny part is this morning it got changed to Addison Ray says hi to Donald Trump, and you know, uh, motherfucking Addison Ray's team was like, not on our watch. Oh, they went hard at them. Yeah. What, so what is that? A cease and assist you hit him with, or what do you just be like, "Hey, bitch, we'll take you to court." I think I think they threw like the book at them because they don't. I don't know them at all, but they don't seem like motherfuckers who would give a shit about a goddamn cease and assist. No, like I think they no, were like, no, no. I, I think they were like, you know, Addison Ray's team is probably massive, and yeah. they probably said some wild shit like some like legal. I we will yeah, sue you. Legal jargon sue you. Over blah blah blah. A, a yeah, false identification. Whatever. Whatever yeah. it is. It was just so funny because you know, there's no way Nelk would ever say like says hi to Donald Trump. They're Never. like the way they type is just in like the most aggressive terms ever. Yeah, but I think I mean, now I think like slander's like a big, a huge no no. Like it's like it comes yeah. with like uh like jail time and crazy fines it's, really? like, it's not yeah because i mean dude, like her personality is so like clean on the internet for it to go be like is sleeping with donald trump and then it's a photo of her i was like oh she's not happy with this no dude didn't, she's not throwing that up on her story and be like swipe up to see me in the new nelk video but i need the nelk guys listen to nice it on my to podcast so I, I, it's I, five you know, minutes i'm not trying to slander them they're, they're very nice to me and i and i yeah. like them a lot but um, look, I mean, you're going to get views regardless, but like you put that on it and I think their views did like 4 million in a night. And I'm like, like yeah, that's why. Yeah. Anyways. What was I Football player. Football player. He won, he won a, uh, <clears throat> I almost said won a quarterback. Jesus Christ. What is this? Fucking who wants to be a millionaire? Won a quarterback. What are you, my girlfriend? God damn it. All right. Wh uh, uh, what position <clears throat> was the guy? Don't know. Didn't ask. Got nervous. <sighs> yeah. Didn't, didn't even ask. Didn't even ask who it was. Wait, how did it get brought up? You didn't ask who it was? No. Okay, welcome want to, to know. Factor Cap. You had to have asked. Didn't want to know. How'd you know he won? So you're like, I don't want to know. And she goes, okay. But he did win a Super Bowl. And you're like, this is getting worse. Well, this is the thing. I'm a, I, uh, I would rather, how did I, how did I say this to her? I would rather um, know everything mm -hmm. because then I, then I'm not surprised by anything. And then if I, if there's a piece of information that I don't know and there's been years gone by, I go, how come I didn't know that? It feels as though you're trying to hide this piece of information. I would just rather you tell me everything. Cause and we can that's why you share the location, to make sure she's not at Ram Stadium. Exact. Fuck. Well, guess anyway. who's going to share location now? <laughs> yeah, so how did you find out? First of all, how did it get brought up, and how did you find out he was a Super Bowl winner? Um, she, the, the Super Bowl winner, she just like literally told me. <laughs> well, you kind of have to, to like flex. Yeah. Like You're not going to fuck a producer and not leave out, like, oh, he's got a few Grammys. Yeah, he he created the you know saw yeah well he made the, all of those yeah um yeah we were we were literally in the car and she was like talking she literally was just talking about how L A she hasn't lived here that long and so she was saying was that, this like recent buddy this was yesterday that yeah. she got fucked by a football player this was yesterday no I'm saying when was the recent time when how long ago did she oh uh, the coitus with the guy this was this was. <laughs> For five, five months, six, five months? Yeah. Oh, pandemic. Oh, baby, pandemic, vagina. Hot, so he hot. does play for the Rams. Um, He does not play for the Rams, no. Where, where did it happen? Well, the, the first one played for the Rams. So how, where did this 
did it happen when she lived out here? Yeah. So he, he, ha- he has a home out here. <clears throat> he got multiple homes? Bro, he plays in a fucking NFL. Like, like the, 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 the low, uh, I was going to say tuition. The low salary is like 500K. Like the lowest one. Like, hut, hut, hike, I, they don't even give me a jersey, I make 500K. You're laughing, I'm depressed. Dude, I just, yeah, I, oh my God. Yeah. I, wow. And you're like, <clears throat> hey, one apartment podcast. in a podcast studio. <laughs> um, here's where I'm at. If we're t- it, like off funny for a second, I want to shit more. Uh, no. Oh, I, this is what I'm saying. Um, I don't, I'm not a type of dude that gets kind of like, um, I don't even know. I'm not, not that I'm not, it, there's no jealousy, I guess, involved in this because it happened obviously before me. Right. And if there was like sort of something amiss in our, in our sex life, then I would feel self-conscious, but I feel very confident in our sexual chemistry that like, like we're good. Like, it's, no, I'm not trying to. I, I, I definitely agree. On no, that. But, yeah, I, but I just, you know what I mean? Like if, if you were like with somebody and it, the sex was like, Oh, like lackluster at best. And like, you felt like you couldn't really, uh, like pleasure them. And then they told you about the quarterbacks and yeah, you go, yeah, yeah. are they fucking full of players? And then you go, uh, Oh, I, I just can't please let me, you. Let me ask you this. Give it to me. So baby. you didn't ask for the name, but you know, he got multiple homes. You know who it is. <laughs> Dox him. Here. Yeah. I'm going to say a number and you say <laughs> if it's his or not. <laughs> 18. Peyton I actually, Manning. I actually, that would be crazy. I would be like, why the fuck you with me? I feel like Peyton Manning's dick has a forehead. Is that weird? Um, Has a forehead? I think all dicks have foreheads. No. For skin, they actually do have a forehead. I'm just saying, I feel like the, the tip oh, the is tip. like. the tip. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Um, So how did it get brought up? And then how did you find out who's a Super Bowl winner? So who won the Super Bowl that last year? Doesn't Tampa matter. Bay we don't need to look that up. We don't want to look that up. You know what I mean? You know, you have to know. You're not gonna, you're not gonna knock an ass. But also, it doesn't. Also, real quick, Super Bowl. Just because he won doesn't mean it was last year. It could be anything. Oh my god! What did you just have a revelation? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna just. It doesn't have to be. Last Is it year. Joe Montana? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Maybe. Um, so it was brought... Oh, I was, I, was, I, was, oh, I was getting there. So it was... <laughs> You're sweating a little bit. Yeah! Wouldn't you be? You freaked out because there was one guy named Kings goalie. Oh, I don't watch hockey anymore. Hey, I have a box suite to the Kings game. No. I don't watch football, so I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know Yeah, well, the more fucked up part is she never banged the guy, but he like flew her out to a game in Iowa and they didn't bang. Now I'm like, well, why didn't you guys fuck? Huh? Does he make you happy? And she's like, no, we, I went for a game to flex on my Instagram story, and now I'm here. Oh, so she didn't get fucked by him. Allegedly. That's where I was going. Order in the <laughs> court. Order in the did you fucking athlete court. And she said no. Did she? How'd she say it? Get on the podcast. <laughs> she said yes. No. <laughs> no. No, I mean, no. Yeah, no, she she was like, no, he was very nice. He was a short, and he was like a like sure. a second string goalie. I, I totally get it, and also like I feel like we she still falls him. It's fine. <laughs> we we have this weird thing when we're like, oh, athletes, they bang every time. Have you ever like spoken to an athlete who's who's like a professional athlete? Most of them are morons. Right, but they speak with communicating through their cocks. I, I think there are so many women that can't so many women that can obviously like fuck it he plays for the kings i don't care like it's just let's do it for the fucking story but i think more often than not they need some type of connection with someone to fuck them it you know what i mean like more often than not we we i'll fuck a curtain i don't like i don't you know whatever hey when you when you scrunch the curtains back a little bit i'll tell you what oh shit um okay so we'll get off the topic i'm just curious to know how it got brought up and how you um no so it was brought up because she was like she was like i LA is different for me because um, I'm literally getting like I've been hit on like two or three times in the last two or three days. Yeah. And she's like, I'm not used to this. Like, it must be is like, is it in like an LA thing? Right. And I was like joking around. I was like, hold on, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, so you, oh, was it the Rams guy? Blah, blah, blah. And then I go jokingly, I go, was that the only athlete? Was that the only athlete? But was it jokingly? Hey, was it under the veil of joking? Sure. Was it a smoke and mirror joke? Yeah. 
Order in the court. Did you fucking athlete? Welcome back, Judge Judy. <laughs> oh no, that's I'm, I'm, I've definitely done things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, and then she was, and then she had a little smirk, and then I ran the car into a light pole. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy who flipped the car was the guy she was banged. <laughs> Clay um, Matthews. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good pull. It was him. No, but it's a good pull. Clay Matthews. Just like yeah, a, you know, it was a good. good I know pull. like six or seven athletes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then she had a smirk, and then I said, "Huh?" And yeah. then and then she just she just she told me. Have you banged anybody that's famous? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, man. Fucking all of them. No, I honestly no. Mm -hmm. I've never banged. Have you? I don't think so. I don't know. No. I wish I had something. I wish I was like, yeah, I right, Nev Campbell in a yeah. toll booth. But no, I don't. Uh, I mean, no. I the girls on like a reality show, but that doesn't. Yeah, but I mean, hey, come on, fucking matter. Yeah, Who cares. Uh, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that it was just it was. And then so how did the Super Bowl part get brought up? That's the part that fascinates me because it is a little bit of a flex. She didn't need to throw it in there. She could have lied, said he played cricket. You know what's funny is you're right. Because I didn't ask. <laughs> yeah. I didn't ask. But you're going to bring it up. What do you mean? Like, if I'm her, I'm, you're, like, I'm, ah, uh, well, there's one guy, yeah. They just won the Super Bowl. Oh, that's how it got about Because I was trying, because I was trying to figure out who it was. And I was, like, fucking around. I was, like, trying, I was guessing. And yeah. I was, like, give me more, give me more. And she yeah. was, like, well, I mean, it, well, he, well, she, he just won the Super Bowl. And I was, like, okay. Fucking oh, just crash won the, the Super Bowl. Right into UPS. You know who it is. I'll find out later. <laughs> God damn. Big, huge hug and shout out to our last sponsor of the episode, IP Vanish. Our boys at IP Vanish are killing it. Okay, what is IP Vanish? It is a virtual private network, a VPN for short. Mm -hmm. A VPN is a super important tool that helps you safely browse the internet, okay? How to use a VPN, I'll tell you, man. If you're in Australia and want to watch uh, American Netflix, you can change your VPN to, uh, I don't know, Detroit, Michigan, and then all of a sudden, boom, bang, bang, you can watch American Netflix. It is incredible, okay? Also, people can't steal your little data going on. You're at Starbucks. Yep. It encrypts data because I don't know if you know this. If you're on a public server and there's other people on it, they can just go, hey, what y'all doing over there? Snatched. Now I can see... A photo of you in eighth grade. Dude, I used IP Vanish in the freaking airport uh, literally yesterday because I wanted to apply for a credit card. Baller! Uh, and uh, I didn't want to, I used to put in, you know, social care number and all that kind of stuff, but I was in the freaking oh. Newark airport. So I was like, yeah. let's not use my regular VPN. Bang, boom, bang. I used IP Vanish. Uh, Encrypted. Boom. No one's stealing my shit. Unless somebody was sitting really close to you because it's Newark Airport. And I also lot. yelled out my social security number. Well, that'll is that, do it. Is that odd? No, because that's you're, they're like he's bluffing. Yes. You know, it's reverse psychology. They'd be like, that's not actually his number. It's probably those numbers, <laughs> but in a different order. And so what you can do is go to ipvanish.com backslash socks because you're going to get 65% off savings. What? They have plans starting as low as just three forty nine a month or $31.49 for a year. That is nothing to feel safe, okay? That is nothing. This is a time to sign up, all right? With our discount and their current promotional offerings, we give you the VPN for 65% off, okay? So remember, that's IPVanish.com backslash socks. Save up to 65% today. God damn. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, wild uh, fucking dog. So that is... So, because I was trying to think, the listeners are trying to piece together, because we did talk about that, right? We did, yeah. I was, yeah. Like, I was like a month or so ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've, been, we've been talking for about two months. So, let me ask you this. Oh, give it to me, baby. What, now that you're just blocking off, been blocking off external hoes. Yeah. There's, there's the, the awkward overlap where uh -huh. it's like. Oh, I'm getting wild texts still. Yeah, you're not. You're not. Out about uh -uh. out it, and if they don't listen to the podcast, they don't fucking know. So you just not respond, or you just send them a, pack, a picture back of the girlfriend and say "fuck you." She's got dexterity, and then you hang up on them. I mean, can you get hung up on a text message? Yeah, you just delete. Leaves, yeah. Um, I I mean, what I've been doing, which is probably not the nicest, is I just have been responding. Right. I but mean, that, but that it not responding is a response, you know. Correct. Correct. But I mean, I could be an adult and just say. Well, here in in my defense, there was a gray area in my girl and I's relationship where like it wasn't we were sort of we had the conversation about being exclusive, 
but it wasn't like labeled. Right. So it was a weird. But you weren't area. hooking up. But it's like if a text came in, you're still gonna read it. Correct. And you're not gonna be like, hey, yo. Bleh. Correct. Correct. So right. I haven't. I mean, this has been. So a I feel like ever since you guys started talking, it was like you, you knew pretty quick. You're like, yeah, I don't. Like I'm yeah. good. I'm good on the H O E S S. Yes. Hose. Yes. Because it's also like, because I feel like when you start liking someone on that level, you regardless of if the conversation has been brought up, if you were like exclusive, you feel bad. Like after a, after you yeah. have some like ho situation, you wake up and go, "Why well, do I don't? Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. someone that I possibly like. Why am yeah, I gonna yeah, like yeah. jeopardize that for no, a cum? I, I, I agree. Cumming's never worth it. Cumming's never worth it. Merch. Wow. Um, yeah. So it's uh, so yeah. that was th- how did good? Did you like ask her or is it like was it like a formal thing? So I will say that we were on Facetime mm-hmm. and uh, she had a, a little party. Mm-hmm. She was introducing me to her friends on FaceTime. And then one of her friends, she goes, hey, this is my boyfriend. Oh, I was with you with this. Yep. And I just, I was like, wow. I heard it. I heard it. Live. Live. And normally, if you don't want something, you go, oh, what the fuck was that? Yeah. yeah. But she said it. And I was like, yeah, yeah I am. Yeah. Like, I was like stoked on it. on the back. Yeah. I was stoked on it. So I was just like, all You're right. You're like, well, one we- more time. My reception cut out. Yeah. A little louder. I heard a whore friend. Let me see What'd your you tit. What? Oh, shit. FaceTime tit. Get better resolution. Face tits? No. No. Striking out. <laughs> no title. Uh, Struck out. That's a baseball player. Let's talk about football players. Fuck. Uh, anyways. Yeah. yeah. So, did you ask, how'd you ask her? Or did you? Or was it just like, I hey. Did, yeah, we. I did. I did not ask her. Um, it was sort of because she said that, and that it allowed me to be comfortable just trying to find a spot to say it. And then you're just looking for anything. I know. I was like, yeah. put, put Venti ga- Mocha Ice Frappuccino. What's the name of her? My girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend. Just putting gas in my car. Oh yeah, baby girlfriend. Just just any excuse. But yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think like when the first time I just like kind of said it. Um, you know. No, I, I really, I honestly don't. I'm trying to remember, like, I remember, like, the, like, the situation. But is there a certain day? How are y'all going to do anniversaries? That's a good call. Because, like, for, like, when you adopt a dog, you're like, I don't know when this motherfucker's birthday is. <laughs> so you're just like, January 2nd? And the guy's like, huh? That's tomorrow. <laughs> I was born yesterday. <laughs> Um, but you're, dude, that's a, uh, we did, I haven't even thought about that. Yeah. So I mean, well, a, dude, that's literally why my girlfriend's like, you need to put a date on it. Anniversaries and you like just celebrate. But you put a date on it. But you had like a you you had like a time that you like straight up asked, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't we haven't we we're gonna have to have that conversation. Yeah. Probably at the Rams Stadium. We'll have that conversation. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> um Wow um, It's a lot a lot has changed. A lot has changed. I'm I'm uh I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy for the future. I'm happy. Uh, presently, there's a big part of me that's like, there's a big like feeling of like relief that like the whole life is fun. It's fun, Oops. but it's not fun. Uh-huh. Like, you know what I mean? It's like that part of my life can be sort of like sectioned off and just gone. What part? Just like the whole like running the streets life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tiresome, bro. Yeah. Tiresome. Streets don't sleep. That's so New York don't sleep. Don't sleep. Go to bed. Uh, <laughs> Get some shut eye. Get some melatonin. Yeah. Nappy nap. Um, wow, it's very interesting. I go to Palm Springs for one week and you, I come back and get a girlfriend. Well, we all saw it coming, though. We did. We all we all saw it coming. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll be, it's a whole, yeah, like you said, it's it's like, I think you're just, you're going to do a lot more fun stuff. I never had a long-term relationship before the lady now and my mom literally told me she's like i feel like you're doing more life stuff you're living a life now yeah. beforehand all i would do was shoot videos edit videos go do stand up and i wasn't i was just living in this bubble but now it's like having a girlfriend you do a lot more shit you would never think about doing it's like let's go to halloween horror nights and you're like why the fuck would i oh this is actually really so fun. fun right right so i mean you've been in long-term relationships before actually no you haven't he's saving himself for you thank you um <laughs> Had never even had sex. Don't listen to episodes one through all of them. <laughs> one through two hundred. <laughs> but um, yeah, you do a lot of things, and you take these like like I was just in Palm Springs over the weekend, and you know it's not a trip I would have taken if I had time off. But I was like, it felt good. It felt good to recharge, and you're like, you kind of just 
your free time is now more, or more like doing shit a little bit, you know? Yeah, I, it feels I, weird to just sit around. What, what I'm in the process right now, <clears throat> excuse me, is trying to figure out how to manage both because I that haven't had to, because I have not had to it manage that tricky. piece of my life. Yeah. I've been in the streets. I've been doing Michael Blaustein a hundred percent and never had to worry about anyone else but Greta. And now it's like, I pick my head up and I'm having such a good time with her. But I pick my head up and I go, I haven't written in two days. Yeah. Like, so I'm going to have to find yeah, yeah, yeah. that balance. And also like we're in the honeymoon phase right now, which is, yeah, a, yeah, which yeah. is a glorious phase. And, there's a there's a big part of me that I, we've had this conversation. But a big part of me that like kind of feels bad because I think she's like not putting her full effort into work as yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. So we'll right. we'll, we'll, you, we'll find the balance. I mean, you something. It's like getting anything new. You you you're, you're so attracted to. It. You're like, ah, oh, this is great. And then it just becomes more so a part of your life. And then you're you forget about the times we've been single. And you forget about like, I literally would only do work before the the lady. And I would just like I had no problem with it. And I think I would have essentially burnt myself out. But Right. It's um, it, it definitely did take some getting adapting to because you never want to say no in the beginning. If she's like, yeah. hey, I come over tonight yes. and then you're looking at a clip, you're like, I want to post this by nine. So it's um, right. It's 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 on both parties to be just, comfortable with be being clear. like, no, like I, I need to get this. I need to get this done. Yeah, or, yeah. hey, if I'm like, hey, come, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like. Well, I need to get work done. But at this point, to mm. at this point, to your point is, I think everyone's like door open, yes to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and there just needs to find Which that balance. Which is hard because then the first time you say no, they feel rejected. You're yes, like, no, I'm not Correct. rejecting. I've just literally been really behind and yes, this and that. Also, I'll tell you what, Give it's it like me. you know, you you do find yourself working harder when you do have those nights off, or if you're like on the road and you're like, I have a full day of Saturday. Usually, I would be on a hike or doing something, going to right. brunch. Right. It's like now. We can catch up in the morning, but before the show, I can take those three hours yeah. and really be productive with it. But yeah. it is it is a lot of adapting, and it's it's also just taking care of a whole other person. And yeah. like, that's why well, I, I feel thought, like I, I thought can you fall did, short sometimes. I thought you did a great. I was gonna say I was gonna commend you because I thought you did a great job. Like it, it obviously it, it took a little well, bit of balance. It's but a I, balance, but and I think it's you're also doing a great alloc job, yeah. allocating some stuff and like having somebody like getting an assistant and having somebody who can help shoot stuff and help kind of edit. And that way I can be like, these were all things I was doing. Got it. So if I still try to just do, cause I was also doing everything up myself yeah, until yeah. like a yeah. couple months ago. And yeah. it was like, that's when I was like full throttle, like redlining, like getting stressed out. Then I'm getting mad at her because she wants to hang out when in reality, I'm not mad at her. I'm mad at, the fact that I haven't been able to put out a video this weekend. Right, right, And right, then I think right. in my head, if I don't put something out on Monday, they're going to be like, he's off the planet. He fell off. Right, So right. now it's like just getting things situa situ situated and then just kind of like micromanaging little things, but still but still keeping my work and like creative in the right place. Yeah, because, dude, the last thing you want to do is like is resent your significant other because yeah. because you didn't have enough time to get a thing done and mm -hmm. then she's like but we had this plan and then you're yeah. like and then you're at like ha having oysters in, well, in santa yeah. monica being like god damn it yeah. i don't want you to be here well also the pandemic i was like traveling crazy before the pandemic hit and uh so we were still trying to figure it out but once we it was like heavy pandemic it's like yeah the workload was cut in half for me all the touring's out the window right so now it's just like just girlfriend and just sketches right like, like nobody was even doing stand-up Right. So it was easier to adapt then, but now it's kind of hard because the world's open. If I have a free, if I have a free night off on like a Saturday and I'm, and I'm doing, not doing shows on the road or in town, I'm like, let's get hammered. Let's party. Let's celebrate. Oh, I understand what you're saying. So now it's like this whole, like, it's like, I'm very like scheduling now. It's like everyone's yeah. open. Everyone wants to have fun. And you're like, but I got to get this clip out. Yeah. 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 We'll do so that. I mean, literally, literally why we did a Google calendar. Yeah. Cause it's like, okay, cool. So now we know these nights are done. These mm. weeks are done, yeah. but we have this day and that day. Let's. That's why I hit you about the the San Diego thing. So yeah, I was like, because yeah. I was like, oh cool, I can hang out with Trev. We can do a little shows, and uh, but the, but I can bring the girl. and We can do like the whole. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so that's just, big. Yes. Yeah, like exactly. Like I'm going to uh, Liberty Township, aka Cincinnati. Got him. And that's where the lady has family at. Perfect. August sixth or the eighth. Uh oh. So I was like, let me do some shows, and then. I can also go to a family barbecue on Sunday. Bang. Because there's a Sunday show that starts at 6 p.m. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Sunday's at 6 p.m. Oh, well, guys, I'm not going to They're going to get out, and they're going to be like, cool, now what do we do? Go to fucking brunch? What do we have? <laughs> I don't know. But it's going to be great fun, and I, I think we got to – Gabe still has to edit this episode that goes out in literally like yeah. two minutes. We got to wrap minutes. it up. Wrap it up. No, you don't because you have a girlfriend now. Nope. That's a benefit. You don't uh, – where are you coming? All over the place. 
Michael Blaustein has a girlfriend. Wild. <laughs> yeah. So. Absolutely wild. Um, well, speaking and, of uh, condoms, do you guys want to do a sock talk? Oh, my oh God. My I forgot God, about me sock too. talk. Gabriel, thank God. Michael was whole... so in love. We forgot about Oh, that's why Gabe's like, wrap this shit up. Speed talk. Speed talk. Uh, let's do <clears throat> a uh, sock talk. This is actually not speaking about condoms. Bad segue. That was for Secret Sock. We'll get there. Okay. Right. Sock talk. <laughs> This is from Taylor, and Taylor says, uh, I just wanted you guys to know that in the Roman days, bigger penises were looked at as uh, as people, men that were stupid and unintelligent had big dicks. That's why I the statues that built to, uh, had smaller penises to represent intelligence. That's why every dick pic I sent, I go in an ice bath beforehand and send it. Mm -hmm. And then I send it along with that uh, Roman article. Yes. Yeah, this is this is an article that I sent my girl because of football players. I go, yeah, yeah but they're big and stupid. And then you photoshopped a Rams helmet on the, on Aristotle. Yeah, and I said, I still shift, believe that if you got high. a fucking massive dong, what are you gonna take the SAT test? You're gonna, no, you're gonna take the LSAT? No, you're dumb. Yeah. You're this gonna take the SAT on my face test? Let's go. I spelled sit wrong. Funny. Okay. <laughs> I meant SAT. You know, Gabe, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in. Leave it S A T in. sat 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 is past tense. I sat on your face. Sat on my face. Never mind, Gabe. Keep it in. Let's go. All right, let's uh, let's do a secret talk. This is yeah. uh, anonymous submission, and they say so. My girlfriend of two point five years and I haven't been using condoms for two years. Uh, anyways, we flushed our condoms when we were finished. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, we used to flush our condoms when we were finished. Fast forward to last week, her water pump got all backed up and exploded into her yard, and about seventy condoms went all over her front yard with a huge hole in the ground. So fuck me, right? Lot, are, lot going on here. A lot of funny they, content. Why are they still there? Well, it's, I think it's like... 2.5 years. Did you ever hear that... Uh, well, that's very true. Jesus Christ. Magnum, what the fuck are you guys using that thing? You ever hear about like chewing gum? When you, like as a kid, they'll tell you it's like gum that takes like seven years to process. Yeah, yeah. Is it one of those type things? I think Probably, she... It yeah. sounds like she has a, a, sump, a sump pump. Like a sump pump. Like not uh -huh. a... Like she... It's not like a... A summer pump? It's a sump pump. Sump pump. You're just saying shit. Nah, Gabe, please look that up. It's a sump pump when, like, it's not, like, traditional uh, plumbing. Submersible sump pumps. There you go. HomeDepot.com. What the fuck? Can you read, like, what it actually does? I think that's what it is. A sump pump is a submersible device installed in the sump pit dug at the lowest point of your house. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it, like, just all, like, the uh, poop and everything you flush kind of just kicks it in the ground. And it does not like traditional piping. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's why I think like piping. Maybe. Yeah, it was. Hold on. Big dick or smart? Keep it in. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Do you have a big dick or are you smart? That's what I'm going to start saying. I'm in the middle. I'm pretty goddamn smart. Small wee cockola. Yeah. Um, that's why I wonder what he did. How are you going to clean that up? I, I would just, just blame it on the neighbors. But yeah, yeah, these kids and these viral TikToks where they throw condoms everywhere. It's better I'd than be what I was going to say. I was just blame it on blame it on my parents. Or oh, you take Greta and you throw her out in the field and let her have a day. Oh, she would be so full. God damn. Why did she love condoms so much? Because the smell of. Give it to him. Give it to him. Cooter. There it is. There it is. Cooter. Cooter. Gabe, I'm sorry you have to edit this and it goes live in like four minutes. Yeah, so, it's all good. We'll cool. get there. We'll get there. Guys. We still got to do tour dates. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Michael, take it on out. Ladies and gents, listen. Actually, just gents, ladies, leave me alone. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> but uh, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for listening, man. We love you. Um, <clears throat> until next Wednesday. Also, we have a Patreon. Obviously, as you guys know, if you guys want four extra episodes of the Stiff Sock Silliness, go and on Patreon. And this week's Patreon, we recorded live in the Denver oh, airport shit. when we had a seven-hour layover. So we riff up top in the studio, and then we recorded on Michael's camera a 45-minute yelling riff, why airlines suck, in the airport. And you can overhear the guy being like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, fly, da, 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 taking off. To you can hear us yelling about it. it. We recorded it in the trash room of the Denver airport. Trash room. It's only going to be on Patreon. Yeah, and I got to say, I, I just finished editing that one, and uh, you could tell. It was a it was a manic record because I wasn't there. So, but yeah. like as that recording angry. goes, it gets it gets angry. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's good. I We're mean, sitting in a trash room. I missed Fourth of July because of this. So you know it was yeah it's very funny but it's only on Patreon five dollars a month. Uh, Patreon.com slash Stiff Socks. Go get it. Um, guys, have a great night. See you next Wednesday. Bye bye. Love you. Bye 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 bye.